What is going on guys? This is Kinetic Energy and I'm back. I know it has been a long time now since I've been on YouTube, but I'm here. I'm going to be bringing you guys all kinds of UFC 3 related content. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Um, first off, I want to give a big shout out to the UFC veteran who made that amazing promo video for me. Um, be sure to follow him on Twitter, YouTube, check out all of his stuff. He does a bunch of uh, real MMA and real UFC uh, works. So please check him out, give him a follow. Um, this is going to be the first video in a three-part series um, of the ESFL Grand Prix. Uh, if you guys don't know what the ESFL is, it's a player-ran organization um, founded by Z Hunter. It's really just absolutely amazing. Um, they have dev involvement going on, giveaways in the chat, soon to be prizes I think are in the works. So please check them out. There are clubs on PS4 and Xbox. You should be able to just find them if you look up ESFL. Uh, there's a Twitter at ESFL Gaming. I will post all the information in the description of this video. So that being said, this was my first fight against Matty Ice for the quarterfinals. Um, it was an eight-man tournament. Pretty much, I think everybody that had a 2-0 record was invited to the tournament. And this was the first match of the quarterfinals. And I'm taking on someone I've known for quite a while, someone that's well known in the community, Matty Ice. Um, this fight, oh, just keep in mind also, so I didn't have this fight actually recorded. I had to take this from the ESFL Gaming YouTube page, so there's going to be no audio because there are commentators going over this fight as it was played live. So I had to mute that so you guys could hear me. So there is no in-game sound. I apologize this will get fixed after this series is over when I actually start recording videos um, so this fight this fight taught me a lot you know I've known Maddie for a long time now he's dominantly a grappler he's been a grappler ever since UFC 1 and I went into this fight thinking that I was gonna get grappled and that we were gonna have a nice uh, jiu-jitsu match wrestling match but that is not what happened, and I did take Matty pretty lightly in the stand-up, I will say. Um, I did underestimate him, and he brought it to me. He showed up and made it a hell of a fight. Um, we got the intros going on right now. This is a Frankie Edgar mirror match. Um, at the time that this was recorded and made, the meta, I really felt like favored stamina and people that could just fight for long long time and throw a lot of strikes um frankie had the best endurance and cardio or still has the best endurance and cardio in the division like he should i think he should be on par with max holloway but i think he outshines him um so we both picked frankie i was ready for a grappling match that is not what happened we're gonna start the first round here we're gonna touch him up and we're gonna get going um Something you guys will notice throughout this fight. There are a few things that I'm going to point out over the course of this fight I start open with a leg kick. I utilize a lot of leg kicks against Matty Ice I like to use a lot of leg kicks for strikers that are very um, I mean, it's a UFC one thing UFC two thing of getting people to lower their block I didn't really know how Matty would fight in the striking going into this I wanted to use a lot of leg kicks and just get him paying attention. I get a nice body kick check right there I threw a head kick, missed, and the body kick coming after it is kind of predictable. I caught it pretty easily. Um, and right here, I'm just coming at him with some uppercuts. I'm trying to open his body up, trying to get him thinking about a lot of different stuff. The uh, leg kicks will come into play. There's another one right there. I poke at him with an uppercut, just to kind of check, see where his head's at. He gets me with an uppercut there. That's a nice uppercut. I was coming in with a body shot. Um, doing some slips here, just kind of just trying to, trying to hit him, trying to hit him. Um, I wasn't really expecting how he would play, to be honest. I wasn't expecting this. He's holding his ground. He's coming after me. He's throwing all kinds of stuff. I come in there with a four-strike combo, just coming into his block. Uh, another leg kick comes at me. Ducks a head kick there. I think my heart skipped a beat when that happened. I remember playing that, and I remember thinking, because I don't really like throwing many head kicks. I mean, not, not in the ESFL fight, because you get one of those head kicks ducked in a uh, you're getting hurt. Thankfully, I, I didn't get blasted with the counter there. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I think that was the only head kick I threw th through, uh, throughout the fight because I saw that and I saw my life flash before my eyes. So that was enough of the head kicks. Um, 
he gets a nice double uppercut on me there you know people had a problem with the double uppercuts you know uh, they were annoying but i think that was actually not even a slip double uppercut so it wasn't even a big deal you know watching this fight back i learned quite a bit um after we got done with this fight i went and watched it back and just looked at how many mistakes i made and i was i told myself i wasn't going to make that many many mistakes ever again i underestimated his striking i wasn't prepared um took him a little bit lightly and my performance kind of showed it. i was not happy with how this went and you know i'll credit off to maddie he played very very well under pressure um and pushed me to my limits i think you know this was my hardest fight in the esfl so far and uh, hats off to Maddie. So first round is almost over here. Um, I think at some point he's going to get a rock on me. It might happen at the end. I got a nice hook off right there and blocked the uppercut on the return. Um, he comes in with a body jab straight, head jab, sorry, and then body straight. You get a nice, there's another leg kick. I'm not sure how many leg kicks I got off. Um, I got another one there and that, that's when he rocked me. I went for another sloppy leg kick and he returned with two hooks. And got me and there's another body kick uh uppercut to top it off and right there that's the end of the round and you know i 100 percent lost that round that's what that's how i saw it i'm pretty sure the stats showed the same thing you know i got rocked he probably got more damage off but i did get those leg kicks off and that was the saving grace throughout this fight that you guys will see i put you know put the money in the bank and get the returns on it later and that is what you guys will see as the fight progresses um he gets those nice, that's a nice, there's my leg kick, and there's the returning hooks um, that ended up rocking me. So we're going to get round two underway here. I believe it is a four round fight, four or five rounds, I'm not sure actually. Um, but let's get started with this. We're going to touch touch up again, always about respect, especially with Maddie. good friends now. Had a rough patch a while back, but we are all good. I get a nice du du or, uh, duck into an uppercut hook, I believe that was, and got a nice drop on him. My stamina is a little bit lower than him. I had to watch that very carefully. So I started off this round pretty well with that knockdown. Um, he's He puts his back on the cage a lot in this fight. Grabbed his body kick again right there. Got to be careful throwing those body kicks, guys. I'm not even I'm not very good at catching those. It's something I need, do need to improve on. Um, hits me with two nice hooks there. A nice combo, four strike combo. Landed two of them. Another uppercut. I'm just getting tagged here. This, this is when I watch it back, and I'm just not happy with how much I get hit there. I did backstep that overhand, um, but then he catches me with an upper, uppercut. And there, boom, two uppercuts in a four-piece combo and just drops me. He's just backing me up. And at this point, I'm uh, I'm sitting here playing this, obviously very nervous, and I, I'm just thinking, all right, what the hell happened to Matty Ice? This is not what I, I, what I was ready for. Um, I've played this guy, you know, at least a few hundred times over the course of the past few years on these games. And I've never played a Matty Ice like this that was just coming after me. And here I, I get a little sloppy. I'm coming forward even though my head is hurt. My stamina is a little bit low. I think, you know, something you guys will see is that I often try to get strikes back on people. If I get hit with something, I try to get them back on somebody uh, real quick to just kind of even it out. Um, maddie has got some nice defense there. I get another leg kick. Keep track of those leg kicks because that is what uh, we'll start adding up. It's a five round fight. Here he comes in, gets a nice uppercut again, throws his own leg kick, but you know, it's a little late for that. Once you get into a leg kick war with somebody, when your leg's already messed up, it's probably not the greatest idea, especially if you start getting your leg kick checked. It's just going to help the other guy even more. It's one of those things that you kind of have to start from round one and say, all right, I'm going to work leg kicks and see how effective they are. Um, there he was throwing a lot of strikes into me. I think I blocked most of them. My stamina is going down faster than his for the most part. Just a little bit of a disadvantage, but not a big deal yet. But it is something that I was paying attention to very closely. Um, you, got, you guys will notice that Maddie, you know, both of us actually at this point, I'm not going to single Maddie out. Both of us were doing a lot of the uh, sustained leans because during this patch, they were very strong. The sustained lean strikes, you'll see an uppercut right there. Uh, this was before they got nerfed. Thank God that they did get nerfed. Um, there's still a lot that does need to be fixed with the slip strikes, but when this was recorded, they were a big issue, um, and I, I was having a hard time kind of getting in on them. Um, I did get a nice rock there. I think I had him in a frame disadvantage and got him with a hook. Um, failed the block break, back him up a little bit, 
Um, this is going to be the end of round two. I did think so. There's a double uppercut. I get hit with that double uppercut. That was his first rock of the round. I think I did win that round. Um, I think I did. Get, yeah, I got the knockdown early and got a rock. So I think I got that that uh, that round on damage, but still a very very close fight, going one one into the third round. Uh, you know, watching this back, I see so many mistakes I made, and I really do not like how I played this fight. Played a very risky fight, even coming in like that, just very very risky. And you guys will see as these videos progress, just the the difference, the changes I make. Um, in preparation and how I how I uh, take the fight I get a nice intercept right there a body kick as he's backing up that's probably the best time to throw a body kick when someone's retreating like that and there's the leg kick that was the first leg kick rock I got him in vulnerability and I'm just applying pressure right now there's another one there's a knockdown so um, here we grapple for a second he actually gets up uh, so this is the this was the point where I think Maddie needs needed to fix some stuff up um, he needed to switch stances after that first uh, rock. And you guys will see he, he stays in the same stance for way too long in this fight. That is the biggest mistake he does make is he stays in the same stance. I get I get uppercutted there. I get rocked. He's backing me up. I tried to duck that head kick and he clipped me with that head kick. Luckily, he was low on stamina when he threw that. I thought it might have been over there. I tried to duck it. I messed up the duck and he clipped me, I think, when I was coming back up to the center from the duck. I didn't stay down long enough. Um, so now we are just hanging out on the ground. He got that knockdown. He's definitely winning the round here. He's just staying on top, staying in my guard. Um, I'm trying to get him off. I'm using some fakes right there, trying to get him to bite on some of the fakes to get some GA build up so I can flip him like that. Um, I will go over all that in a different video. Um, it's some high level stuff. I'm sure a decent amount of you guys will know that but I'm sure a lot of people aren't aware of what's going on there. Um, he gets a nice flip there. He blocked a few strikes and then flipped me. The uh, GA on that transition is huge. So if you block a few strikes from postured up half guard, do that, uh, do that flip. Pretty sure everybody has it. Um, and it's very, very fast if you block some strikes. Um, I get another flip off there. I blocked, I, I don't know. I think you could have denied that. It wasn't, that, wasn't too fast. Um, I tried to take him out. Didn't get it. Just kind of hitting him in half guard right now. I didn't really get any damage off here. You know, I'm on top and I got some reversals, but I get to stacked guard here. Um, but I, I'm not getting a ton of damage off. And that's something with UFC 3 guys is that there there is a huge priority on damage. Everything revolves around damage. And, you know, it's a good thing, but I think it puts a lot of uh, people... It leaves a lot of people confused um, in terms of losing fights when they do the grappling because you know you get hit a few times you take someone down and you get some damage off here I did get a lot of damage off in uh, in half guard I did get a lot of damage off here I don't think it was enough because he got the knockdown um, I'm not sure I don't think I ever checked the judges scoring going uh, after the fight ended I think that's kind of a toss-up round. He might have got it. I might have got it. Um, when I was playing this fight, I definitely thought that he won the round. But at the same time, I wasn't super worried about it because of those leg kicks. Um, he his his one leg is incredibly messed up. His I think it's his left leg is really messed up, and he needs to change stances. But we come out and there's the there's the stance switch. He does change stances and I leg kick uh, the other leg. But it's a little too late for that. I can't really start working on that other leg this far into a fight. So he did change stances, but I think he does go back and I end up rocking it. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, my head, if you look at my head here and I was staring at it very closely, it, it is very low. It's much lower than his. Um, I had to pay attention to it. And uh, it was definitely a point of weakness there. I had to be very careful with how I came in. I get a nice two hook combo go to his body work the body still come back up with a hook lead hook work the body again i'm just trying to wear him down you know he was holding that high block and i didn't think i could break it so i had to go to the body that's something you guys do need to uh should practice is is going to the body and being careful when you do it because you can't get uppercut and blast it here i'm just kicking the hell out of his leg and he does switch finally but it's just too late his leg is very hurt i kick it again um in this situation, he should have switched stances and he should have just backed me up. 
because my head is hurt. I can't, I'm doing this. I'm applying this pressure because he's letting me uh, for the most part. Um, you know, I know tens tensions are high. He, see, that, that is what he needs. He needs to attack and he hit me with an uppercut, tries a head kick that was just kind of a sloppy block break, gets a nice uppercut off there. Um, misses a head kick there, I get a nice straight. I'm just backing him up. My stamina is going down. Um, I try the leg kick again. He does check that one and switches stances. I get a nice rock right there off the check hook. I love that and the block break. And that is the end of the fight. I threw, I think it was a jab straight, lead hook, uppercut to break through the block and end the fight. So that is the first fight for the quarterfinals. The next fight up is versus Prioxis. You guys can look forward to that. That is all I have for you guys right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the fight. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you guys thought of the fight. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, what you guys would like me to go over after this series is done, be sure to let me know. Follow me on Twitter. I do have a Twitter. It's Kinetic NRG. Started it up about a month ago. I will be putting all my video releases and all kinds of stuff up there, so be sure to check that out. That is all I have for you guys for now. See you guys later. Peace.